Now we're waiting on Isle of Jura to complete the lineup. 2024 Kings Cup all in. And they're off for of the Kings Cup and Roller Jam Mr. Beat, 2,400 metres to cover. De Harby began well, as did the other Godolphin runners. Passion and Glory breaks the line as they go into that first turn. To the outside of Passion and Glory is De Harby, to the inner King of Conquest, followed by Sovereign Spirit after a shoddy start. Roller Jam is on the premises because the pace isn't particularly strong. Lucanda is rather keen in mid-division. Isle of Jura has got a position three wide around the first bend. Further back to Panning for Gold. Goman is second last and Ray and Paul is last of all as they bob along the side of the track. So now Roller Jam has hit the front. Roller Jam moves on, forces the pace and has gone clear by some eight lengths. Passion and Glory is holding second. Sovereign Spirit in a third position, followed by Dahabi, who's up along the inside. Blue colours going forward now. Isle of Jura panning for gold, followed by King of Kong. Quest, less than a mile to go. Goman, Lucanda, and Ray and Paul are the last three. They go on down the far side. You've got to have eyes everywhere because you've got the clear leader. That is Roller Jam, who's now around about 20, 25 lengths clear down the far side. Second place last year's hero, Passion and Glory, followed by Sovereign Spirit in the red and black jacket. De Harby just in behind them from Isle of Jura, King of Conquest, panning for gold. Goman and Lucanda. Ray and Paul is still sitting at the back, and they have have less than a thousand to go well certainly the leader does that's roller jam still well clear passion and glory kevin stott holding second place sovereign spirit de harby and isle of jura next goldman is three wide as they go into that bend king of conquest white cap blue colors to the inside panning for gold is off the bridle lucanda and ray and paul are the last of two so heading towards the last turn 600 meters from the finish from the conclusion of the king's cup and roller jam and stefan lejage is still well clear but now now the others are beginning to close. 400 metres left to go. The leading margin's about six lengths. Sovereign Spirit is in second place. Passion and Glory third. Callum Shepherd's having to work on Isle of Jura to get Isle of Jura into a challenging position. They have 300 metres left to go. And it's Sovereign Spirit, Isle of Jura down the outside. Isle of Jura laying down a big effort now to Sovereign Spirit. Panning for gold is back in third. Isle of Jura is now in front inside the last hundred. Oh, the king is wearing his crown. Isle of Jura, victorious Callum Shepherd, George Scott, they got there to win the King's Cup. Second place, Sovereign Spirit, then a whole host of King of Conquest, panning for gold, Lucanda, Gomon, and Passion and Glory just in behind. Plenty of emotions down here on the track as well. Well done to uh, winning jockey then Callum Shepherd. What a horse this is. He had to work a bit harder today, but he did it. No, he's what a magic winter he's given us, and to culminate culminate in this is um, huge. You know, you met with adversity around the first bend. You've taken up what appeared to be a nice position, got sort of cleaned out around the first bend. Had to go looking for a position then, and um, he's still gone and done it. He's he's overcome that. Just. Most of all, I just like to give such enormous credit to, to Rosie Jessup, who's, who's um, ridden him every day out here, to Cheryl, previously Poppy Green, um, who's looked after him. They've, they've carried out and implemented George's plan, um, and they've been absolutely faultless doing so. I'm enormously grateful to them, enormously grateful to Sheikh Nasser, and I'm so pleased that we could do this for him, because that was a big ambition of his, was to win the Triple Crown. It takes some doing, and... It's a special horse that's done it. He certainly is a special horse, and he'll be getting on a plane to go back to the UK tomorrow. Rosie, you're going to be missing him. I'm going to miss him dearly. He's uh, he's been the life and soul of my season this year, and yeah, but I'm just happy that he's 
He's made it a magical time for us. He certainly has made it a magical time. Congratulations then. The, pan, the plan has paid off and the Triple Crown is complete. Isle of Jura wins the King's Cup. Yeah, quick word with the man alongside. He's about to welcome in his star, George Scott. Just summarise how that feels. It's just unbelievable. It's, you know, it's, it's the absolute pinnacle, really, here, racing in Bahrain. And it's a flood of emotions after the line. You were telling me back on the December the 8th, I think, when he won here, this, this might be the plan, but to get that far and realise it, everything's got to go perfectly, and it has. And, and, you know, that's testament to the girls that have looked after him out here. I've really done very little. Rosie and Cheryl have done an amazing job, and, you know, we've got a wonderful horse. You know, he really is a trier, isn't he? Where's this rank in your career? It's at the top, miles ahead of anything else. George, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Well, there you are. Couldn't have said it better myself. Welcoming back in the winner of the most prestigious race, the King's Cup. The dream is realised. Well done, Callum Shepherd, George Scott. The colours are victorious. The winner is Isle of Jura. Well, let's have a word with winning owner then, His Highness Sheikh Nasser. Sheikh Nasser, I know you've had big wins all over the world. You've won at Royal Ascot, but just how much does victory in today's race mean to you? This means a lot. Uh, His Majesty's King's Cup uh, is huge. Uh, is, is a race that we look uh, for uh, throughout the whole season in Bahrain. Um, not only that, but winning uh, what we call the Triple Crown. Um, His Royal Highness, the Crown Prince Cup, and then my Cup, and the King's Cup, which was amazing. Now I know that Isle of Jura is famous for many things, the island, but also this guy is, uh, is one of those things uh, that he's famous of. He certainly is. And what a horse he's been. When you first purchased him alongside George, was it last summer? Did you ever dream that he would be as good enough to take a race like this? You know what? Uh, so many people were against the idea. Why do we buy a handicapper in the beginning of the season with the same amount we'll buy a two-year-old from uh, the breeze-ups? But uh, I insisted, uh, as well as George insisted, uh, let's go for it. Let's have some fun with this horse. And then we started to explore the horse and then push him further and further. And then each time he exceeds his uh, uh, um, uh, goals and, uh, you know, he's been uh, a superstar. And I know you're also involved in a lot of other sports, mostly endurance racing, but also Ironman and a lot of other Olympic sports. But just how much joy does racing bring you and your family? Well, it brings us together. It's... Uh, it's uh, our secret. Horses is, is, is a big secret in our family. The love of horses with uh, myself and His Majesty the King, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid. Uh, you have a product in here right in front of you. Well, it's great that you're doing it here alongside your family. Well done. Congratulations. Thank you very much. We move on then to the King's Cup for imported horses. And for this race, 
It was victory to Isle of Jura in the colours of victorious racing. And we welcome up His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa to receive the trophies there alongside his son, his son, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed and His Highness Sheikh Hamad also going up there. Winning trainer of Isle of Jura, George Scott, receiving the trophy from His Highness the Crown Prince.